Hello and welcome to Fin Business. And we are in for some very interesting discussions on infrastructure here with Philip Delson. So, uh, Philip, I would like to ask you some highlights of uh, what are the top ten tech trends that are going to impact the infrastructure of the future. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest uh, element that you've got to capture is how doing new things. Uh, like IoT integration with uh, new users, new applications, new devices, um, leverages your core data center, your core infrastructure, but also the sourcing element of how you deliver that infrastructure, whether that be with partners like hosting providers or cloud partners. So, you know, that, that expansion that we call, you know, driven to the edge, the edge of IT, the edge of operational technology, has to be accommodated um, with budgets. And those budgets in IT are only growing 5% at best. How do you manage 50% more data that is not in the data center? How do you um, influence new application designs so that you can deliver them to new users, new devices and make it scalable from the data center to the edge with the users and devices on those budgets that are being squeezed. So that's really sort of looking at how to do new things in new ways to new users while keep the old as well. So that is the future-proof uh, yeah. infrastructure that we are talking about. Yeah. We have seen in the financial sector a whole lot of new things like DLT, blockchain, artificial intelligence yeah. and etc. coming and the list is growing day by day. Yeah. Yeah. Right? How do the financial services organization ensure that they have such an agile infrastructure in a case where their goalposts are shifting day by day? Yeah. Uh, it's a great session. and. and and what we try to capture is, you know, bimodal is not new, you do need the two speeds, but basically clients are either consolidating and doing things more efficiently or doing new things. And it's hard to be efficient and do new things at the same time. So there's these little waves that you see of project cycles. And the thing is, if you don't learn in process, on how to do things more agile and more efficiently as, as you step, then you have big issues of realignment. And those projects end up being literally, you know, is blockchain an opportunity? Is blockchain a threat to existing application development? And blockchain has its limits. You know, blockchain is small, little bit of applications, similar to what we saw with DevOps and microservices, but you know, more again delivered in that relationship fashion, what does that do to your core IT? Core IT has to adapt to this small consumption model, um, which means that you have to measure not by project, not by server, but by consumption of the resources, right? Now, if you're a, getting that from a server provi service provider or a cloud provider, because they've got you know, data centers in your cities, then that's easy to do because their measurement is all about resource allocation, resource measurement, charge back because that's how they market their services. Um, core IT, if you're doing it on-premise with your own IT, you're used to a three to five year asset cycle, project cycle that depreciates, you know, and how do you consume that project. It's a totally different paradigm. So your core banking systems, your core finance systems that are the old mainframe apps and other apps that have been migrated, they're going to be very difficult to be adapted to these new application drivers. So, uh, you know, when you see the uh, companies today, yeah. the, one of the emerging things that you can see is linking business applications to infrastructure is very yeah. common yeah. as a uh, you know, portfolio and yep. uh, while every CIO will definitely have a challenge that he has to meet the needs of the C, uh, chief uh, CXO yep. who is in charge or who is ultimately taking up the burden of the budget. Yep. 
uh, sticking his neck out for that budget, right? Yep. So, from that perspective, what are the emerging trends that are coming where the CIO is play, playing a balancing act with his infrastructure? Yep. Well, I think just like you've got blockchain going a lot smaller and granular, and you've got the DevOps as the process rather than traditional IT processes. You've also got the applications themselves are getting a lot smaller components rather than full application suites. Those have relationships with each other so that they're not as efficient. They're not as you know, but uh, the efficiency and the scalability of the backend system isn't as important as it used to be. But the integration of the components to the new types of device, new types of user, are absolutely key. And of course. You've got to do both. So you know you, you might be going on a, a new version of a, a, a sales application or a tracking application or a banking application, and having to integrate still with those core cool legacy platforms that are transactional systems. You know that then has as you go from core banking app data center to edge-based apps sitting on a kiosk in a retail outlet for selling the service puts all sorts of stress testing on and you know you look in India and you've got great networking around the cities I call that the meatball so you got all the meatballs across India uh, or the kofta let's do local language <laughs> uh, but the spaghetti between them is stretched and, and so you might be able to go within a metropolitan area for working with a partner, working with an integration component, but working across from city to city is hard, you know. And and that isn't just an Indian issue, by the way. Um, it's same between Luxembourg and Paris, and that's only a couple hundred kilometres. You know? So thank you very much right. for a wonderful right. discussion.